Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm getting a lot of emails and requests on how to capture packets when you deal with IoT devices. Now, this could be a, a camera, it could be a phone, it could be uh, anything, really. Um, one way, I, I've shown many different ways. One way is to use a uh, NetAlly AirCheck, capture the packets over the air. Um, I, anyways, I'm showing you different ways of doing the same thing. And in this case, I'm going to get it off the switch. So what we have in this example is a simple ATA um, sitting on an unmanaged switch with a bunch of other stuff just to make things a little bit easier or complicated, depending on how you think of it. And that unmanaged switch is going back to my switch, my Cisco switch, which is managed. So what we're going to do is set up a port span mirror monitor session doesn't matter how you want to say it and I'm going to walk you through all the steps so hopefully this is going to take too long but we'll see how it goes so along the way I'll show you tips and tricks for example uh, what port is it plugged into so if I just unplug and plug the unmanaged switch back in I can just simply go to my log and my Cisco switch and find out which port went up and down that's one way to do it the other way to do it is if I know the MAC address of that ATA or whatever I want to baseline, I can just simply type show MAC address dash table, pipe INC for include, and the last four digits of the MAC address. And if I hit enter, it tells me it's gig two, switch two of the stack, 028. So now I know the port of the device I want to monitor. The next question is, where am I? Well, I know where I am, right? I'm port 28. I'm sorry, port 5. The ATA is on 28. And you have to make sure you get this straight in your head. What's the source and what's the destination? So from there, let's make sure that we don't have any um, port mirroring, monitoring, or any sessions set up already. So if I was to simply type show monitor session all, it says there is no span configuration present in the system. Awesome. Sometimes there's a port in use or an old port somebody forgot to take out of use. Always double check. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a monitor session. I'm going to give this one just number one. That's just something to call it number one. And the source is 28, and that's the ATA. Oops. Forgot config T. Let's try this again. There we go. And then from there, I have to configure the monitor session one for the destination interface, which is me, port five. Enter. So now if I exit and show monitor session one, that's me. Okay. So now I know that it's actually configured. So from there, we're going to capture some packets. So I'm going to switch to Wireshark and I will pause and then start the video up when we see data. All right, so we've got our Wireshark loaded now. I've got my Ether space host capture filter. That's the MAC address of the ATA I want to capture from. And what I'm going to do is just simply start a capture. And as you can see, it's up here in the title bar is the current capture filter. I don't see anything because I'm not doing anything. The box is idle. Oh, there's an ARP. I'm going to just ping it. I should see a ping. Please make sure you get it both ways. Request reply, request reply. So now what I'm going to do is walk over to that device. I'm going to just turn off my packet details and my packet bytes for the moment. And I'm simply going to go reboot my ATA. And I'll be right back. All right, so I just rebooted it. And this is a great boot up baseline example. I just review, we set up our monitor session on the Cisco switch. From there, I tested Wireshark by simply pinging it. Now I've turned the unit off, powered it back on, and now I'm watching it boot up. So the first thing we'll see is good old DHCP. Um, DHCP has four steps. D-O-R-A, discover, offer, request, acknowledge. You may see some of it. You may see all of it. You may see additional stuff like NACs or whatever. But what we want to do is we want to see uh, the device start up and start transmitting and receiving data. And you'll see things like, this is an ATA, so we should see SIP, uh, possibly RTP, RTCP, who knows. And this is what this is about. So we just capture everything that comes out of the box. When we see it's done, then great. Then we can go ahead, stop the capture, and analyze the data. And that's it. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.